Microsoft Word 2.10 autocorrect. Creating, modifying and deleting autocorrect entries. Autocorrect is great. Have you ever noticed when you type in um, a mistyped word, for instance, um, T-E-H, which I was trying to spell there and I typed in T-E-H, look what happens when I press the space bar. It magically changes into the correct word. That's because this is, there is this thing called autocorrect. So within Word, there's a list of incorrectly spelt words and also a matching list of correctly spelt words. So when you type in the incorrect word, it automatically changes it. It actually does more than that. So for instance, let's say we want the copyright symbol. If I do open brackets, C, close brackets, even without pressing the space bar, it magically changes. Let's say I want the uh, trademark symbol. Open brackets, TM, close brackets, magically it's been changed. Let's say I want the register symbol. Open brackets, R, close brackets, magically it's changed. One more, let's say we want the euro symbol. Open brackets, E, close brackets, and there we have the euro symbol. So it does a lot more than simply fixing incorrectly typed uh, words. We can insert symbols using this. If we want to, we can create our own customized autocorrect entries. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up uh, an autocorrect uh, called uh, CCT, which when typed in and then followed by the spacebar, will change automatically to Cheltenham Courseware. So let's try that. In order to do this, you click on the File uh, tab here. You go to Options. You click on Proofing. You go to Autocorrect Options here. And here's the list here. These are the list of things that change from this to this. So earlier on I typed in um, bracket C, close bracket, it changed to this. How? Well, because those were listed in there. Um, if we go down here, you can see a list of incorrectly spelt words. So for instance, if you, if you um, were hoping to type in the word uh, aggressive, but had misspelt the word like this, then when you typed in this, followed by the space bar, it would automatically change from this to this. We can create our own entry. So let's type in CCT. And let's say we want to change that to Cheltenham Courseware. So here we're saying basically when we type in this and press the space bar, replace it with this. So I click on OK and click on OK, and now let's see what happens. I'll type in CCT spacebar, whoops, CCT spacebar, and now it changes. That's basically how you can use autocorrect. You can also delete items. So for instance, if I click here, go to options, go to proofing, go to autocorrect options. I can scroll down for that entry we just created which was uh, CCT. As you can see, there's lots of things in here, so you might have to search around for it. All right, come on, where are we? There we go. If we select this item here, if we no longer want that, we can uh, press delete here. Or if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to change it, maybe we change the name of the company, we could change that to Cheltenham Group. So that's how you change an, uh, an entry, and then you click on OK. But if I wanted to actually delete this, I'll just make, I'd make sure it was selected, click on Delete, click on OK, click on OK, it's now been deleted.